Alright guys, I'm going to show you how to do the factory image uh, update way for your Samsung Galaxy Nexus. This is the GSM US variant with Google Wallet. So if you have this version, if not, this, this will still work for whatever uh, Galaxy Nexus you own. This same method will still work. If you don't want to do the factory image, which will erase everything on your internal SD card, what I did was I hooked up a little USB OTG adapter and I put my little USB drive and I just copied all the files onto this so that I can just copy them back after I'm done. But I kind of need to clear out the storage so that's why I'm doing this method. If you just want Android 4.2 just flash the ROM like any other normal ROM you would flash. All you have to do is wipe data, factory reset, and then cache and Dalvik recommend wiping system 2 and then just flash the 4.2 OTA update make sure it's the ROM on XDA though not just the you know yeah so what we're gonna wanna do first is go to the website which right here the GNX the Galaxy Nexus forums over on XDA here is the Galaxy Nexus toolkit which is free you just download right here or if you want a dev host link it is also right there Here's some videos demonstrating it. I highly recommend donating to this developer because he has put a lot of work into this. And then I'll put a link in the description for this and also for this as well. So check the description. This is developers.google.com where you find all the factory images. As you see, I have the GSM Maguro build which has a Google Wallet for the USA. So I'm going to be using these right here. And I want. 4.2 so I clicked this I already downloaded it so I'm not going to again but always recommend checking the MB5 some just download anything free this is when MB5 free just I mean anything that's free I think they're all free actually so just download the MD5 checker I already checked the MD5 of course and it matched but what you're going to want to do for the Nexus Toolkit is after downloading it, make sure you run it and install it. So once that is done, we are going to go to our... Sorry, I changed my wallpaper because it was too bright. If you downloaded it, it will probably be in your downloads folder. Which if it is, just right click and copy it. I'm going to go to Acer Galaxy Nexus Toolkit. And right here where it says put Google factory images here that's where I put the file as you see this is where I also have done the other two which after it's finished it leaves them as an empty folder so you don't really you can delete those if you want but see I've used this a few times so just make sure that is there once that is there we will go back home of course here's a little icon for it and we're just gonna say yes and before we start, we are going to want to make sure our phone is in fast boot because that's how our phone's got to be. So I'm going to unlock it. If you don't have a custom ROM that enables this, I'm going to reboot into the bootloader. If you don't have a custom ROM that enables this, just power off your phone, press and hold volume up and volume down and power, and you'll be ready to go. And as you see, we are in fast boot mode. It's kind of small, but. I am unlocked, but that doesn't matter. Once our phone is like this, let's get a USB cable. Oh, sorry, I got like five cables just laying around here. And we are going to plug it into our computer. I have it on mute, but you'll hear like a little uh, noise when you do that. So Once it is plugged in, just put your phone aside because we don't need it. And let's go to the Nexus Toolkit see if I can zoom in for you guys see if I can get it to focus a little bit better there we go and I already checked for an update so I'm gonna click no and here's what we're gonna get Let's scroll it up As you see this gives all the variants of the Nexus phones mine is the number 10 because I'm running Android 4.1.2 so just look for your model this is a GSM model with Google Wallet so this is mine if you have CDMA or LTE if you have Sprint, Verizon 
whatever that one is, probably in the UK, I think. So I'm going to type 10 and hit enter. Alright, and this is ready. Just another heads up, this wipes everything, even the internal. So make sure you back it up with Dropbox or anything. Like, I put it on a little USB drive, but if you don't have that, just back it up with something. And what we are going to want to do is flash the Google factory image, which is number 9. Download, extract, and flash the factory image. So I'm going to type 9. This is also where you do all this other stuff. You can install drivers, which you need. So I recommend doing that, but I already have them. So you can back up and restore your device. Unlock, relock your bootloader, root or unroot, flash recoveries, everything. But I'm going to click 9 and hit enter. And it says download Google Stock Recovery. I already have it downloaded. And it says Flash. So I'm going to click 2. Well, not click, but you guys know what I mean. And if your phone is in fast mode and you are ready to continue, so I'm going to hit yes. Should I type yes? So I'm going to type yes. Google Stock Image found. In the correct folder. Getting ready to start. Now extracting tar image. Hope that's a little bit easier to see. Sorry, I don't, I can't afford a better camera, so I'm using my you're already Incredible 2. Good old phone, right? And by the way, it just rebooted my phone back into bootloader. Whoa, battery dying. Um, so as you see, it does everything itself. It's now flashing the factory image, boot recovery system, and user data. Archive does not contain boot, sig, or recovery. Don't know what that means. I guess it doesn't have the recovery, which is pretty good, I guess. So I don't have to mess with it. I will show you guys how to root this, too. Because I, I need root to install a titanium backup. So, well, not to install it, but you, you know, to use it. So, I don't think this is going to take too long. But I'm going to cut it here and I will be back after this is done flashing. Alright guys, it says operation completed and it is rebooting the device. And it just went back to the main menu on the toolkit itself. So back out of that. Sorry about the dying battery, just ignore that. See we're starting up now. It's got the normal Jelly Bean boot animation so see how well we did. I guess if I focus on the actual device, it could probably help a little. Not really. Wow, it didn't help at all. It'll be easier to focus once it actually turns on, you know. So I'm not sure how long this will take to boot, but flashing the image, it took about, I don't know, I went to the bathroom and I came back and it said it was rebooting the phone. So it took about a minute. It didn't take long at all, actually. It was, like, really fast. So, here we are, booted up. Unplug the phone, because we don't, we don't need it plugged in. And I'm going to choose English United States. Select Wi-Fi. I'm going to skip that. Warning main care. It's okay, I have unlimited. So, skip. Um, not now. Not now? Sure, you can stalk me, Google, it's okay. Brandon. This also has a swipe thing, too, by the way. Didn't really use it on my name because I knew I'd probably screw up and make you guys wait longer, so. Here we go. Stock. Android, whoa. Stock Android 4.2. If we go to about phone, it is still Jelly Bean. Still got that Jelly Bean love. I don't remember. I had the back button over here on my other uh, custom ROMs. So turn the brightness a little bit down. Turn it up a little bit actually. So let's go back and see what kind of apps come installed actually. See what kind of Google is. 
So we have a new calendar icon. We have the new camera icon. With new camera as well, actually. Uh, new gallery. Comes with all Google preloaded stuff, which isn't that much. So let's go back into settings. One thing to note, people were asking how they got into uh, the Android debugging menu. Or like, I mean developer options. So, leave you tap on build. Seven times. You are now a developer. And you see developer options has just showed up. Which is pretty cool. I guess they're keeping, you know, peop they, people that they don't want from using their developer options. So let's lock it and unlock it. Check out the new lock screen. I guess that's where the AOKP guys got theirs. Where's their... Oh, okay. So you swipe to the left. To, I mean, right. Uh, sure. I like how you swipe to get to the camera. That's pretty neat. Let's check out the other widgets. Sorry, this is my first time messing with Android 4.0. I mean 4.2. See, I don't have any widgets, so I'm going to add one. Um, I'm going to add calendar. I don't have anything in my calendar. Will it still work? It does. So if I swipe down, it expands. If I swipe up. This is how you get to Google now, by the way. So, I mean, that's pretty cool. Not really much is different. I mean, I'm going to be using this stock build of Android 4.2 for a few days. And then I will be giving my full review of it. So make sure to look forward to that soon. But my next video on this is going to be the rooting guide.